In this video, I'll describe the Data Collection Control page of SQM Reader Pro. This page in the control area allows you to determine how and how often your sky quality meter will be read. The first parameter that you'll need to set is the collection period. You can choose to read your meter a single time or continuously. Either mode of operation is started by clicking Read. The one-time only reading mode doesn't require you to click Stop, but the continuous collection mode does. One other thing you might notice is that the icon at the top of the control page shows at the moment the icon for one-time reading mode. It changes when you click continuous reading mode. For continuous reading mode, you need to select the amount of time between readings. This value can be as small as once per minute, and it can be as infrequently as once per hour. You can specify any number of minutes between those two values. Also, you can elect to suspend reading during daylight hours. If you don't want to suspend reading at all, you should check never. If you want to suspend reading only when the sun is above the horizon, choose If Sun Up. If you want to suspend reading during sun above the horizon or astronomical twilight, you should check the final selection. Remember, if you want to suspend reading during daylight hours, you must specify the correct latitude, longitude, and time offset of the meter on the meter control page. The suspend collection parameters are really most useful for unmanned observatory installations, those that are used for remote imaging or dark sky studies or the like. The never suspend collection is really most useful if you happen to be co-located with your meter, as would be the case if you are observing in the field with your sky quality meter close by, or if you are at a star party and you are providing darkness data. Finally, I'll describe the time averaging capability of SQM Reader Pro. The time averaging capability is useful when you want to collect data fairly frequently, but for your back-end statistical processing, you might want to have data averaged and fewer data points fed into your statistical processing. If that's the case, you need to specify an averaging period. Let's take, for example, one minute readings averaged over five minutes into a single data point. We need to set the averaging period to five, and we can see that there are five samples per averaging period. These averaged values will appear on your graph, on your readings display statistics page, and in the data files that you may create. As you can see here on the reading display page, we have the time average statistics represented rather than the single read statistics. That's it for the data collection page. I hope you'll continue watching these tutorials in the series for SQM Reader Pro. Thanks for watching.